So, what are you up to today, then? Oh, nothing much. Just going to sit around and try and learn this. Yeah, yeah. I wish I'd never agreed to this audition in the first place. I'll never get the part anyway. Hey, come on. You're giving up before you've even started. You don't know how nervous I get at auditions. Oh, you'll be terrific. Remember the old saying? Hey? Eh? She who dares... <laughs> wins. <laughs> say so, Del. Yep. You know, you're the only one who's ever really given me any encouragement. My ex-husband used to laugh at me. To him, ambition, dreams and wonderful things were a waste of time. Yeah. Never lose sight of your dreams, sweetheart. What I've always said, never lose sight of your dreams. Do you know, when I was 18, I said by the time I was 21, I was going to be a millionaire. Really? Yeah. Then when I was 21, I said, I'll be a millionaire by the time I was 30. And then, when I was 30, do you want a jammy dodger? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Mm. I've never told anyone this, but do you remember when I was in America for a while? Mm -hmm. Well, while I was there, they were putting on Aida at the Met. Mm -hmm. So I applied for a part in it. Well, I didn't get it. There were union problems, and I wasn't very good. Mm. But for a while, my head was filled with big theatres, you know. New York, Broadway, all that. Stupid. No, not stupid at all, sweetheart. Not stupid at all. Because you had a go, didn't you? That's the most important thing. You had a go. Anyway, I reckon it was all for the best. How? Well, I eat her at the Met. <laughs> I can't see you playing a policewoman. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Although I wouldn't have had to do much research. My husband was a policeman. <laughs> oh, you're music. You never told me that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Do you see much of him? Do you see him at all? No, I haven't seen him for years and years. Why? Me? Nothing. No, I'm just curious, that's all. Just curious. 